look at the Complication album and see how many different kinds of music are represented on the Complication album from pop bands like us to hardcore punk bands like DOA and the Subhumans to fledgling girl groups like the Dish Rags to all sorts of art rock bands. The Vancouver Complication album, the of all the, the bands at that time, which was I guess 79, 78, 79, was recorded by Chris Cutrus in his parents' basement. And I remember doing lead guitars in his childhood bedroom, which had like a wagon, a single bed with a wagon wheel headboard and cowboy curtains. And you know, I'm standing there playing this horrific, overdriven, out of tune, squalling guitar. And he's in the other room with his headphones on in an eight track. And then you'd go upstairs and his, you know, his mom would make you tea and toast. You know, we had uh, called a meeting to invite all of the local bands that some of them knew of each other's existence and some didn't. But out of this uh, very divergent group of people, we realized that we could make a compilation record, like a lot of other towns were doing at the time. And so we started to put it together and it was in the making of it that we realized how different some of these bands were. And it became most evident when we tried to put the artwork together for the cover. And we had the good fortune of having a lot of resources. And one of them was an artist, Jeff Wall, who played for a band called Ujerg at the time, and had done what was a maybe a sort of proto-Jeff Wall photograph, I think of a suburban house in Burnaby where we recorded a lot of the music. And that was his suggestion. Where somebody had brought me this photograph of a of an engorged penis that had been tattooed and had a ring around the end of it, and uh, that was their contribution to it. And there were many, many other contributions in between from the gay community and from all of the various sort of political and artistic interests of the record. But everybody, of course, hated everybody else's submission. Couldn't stand it. Thought theirs was the only one. And so finally I said, you know, I, I can't deal with this. I'm going to put all the pictures and so ideas and everything in this little booklet and I'll hide it in the album. And I will change the name of the record from the Vancouver Compilation to the Vancouver Complication. And I will just have a cover that is black on one side and white on the other because that's the best comment I could come up with. 